So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel the latest MIUI 12.0.6 global stable version is now officially released for all the users if you are Redmi Note 9s user or if you are Redmi Note 9 pro user which means if you are only a Cortana user if you are using joy use this is not for your device this is only for the Cortana users the Redmi Note 9 pro is actually Cortana in India maybe and Redmi Note 9s global is Cortana so I've installed it on my global device actually i've installed it on my device which has unlocked bootloader if you have unlocked bootloader you can install this update from custom recovery if you don't have unlocked bootloader you have locked bootloader you will get the ota update and the ota update link is in the description i already made a video on this one few days ago regarding pilot testers update and this is the same update which you get here with the official update for all the users as you can see in change log it's only written as it comes with the latest March security patch increase system security instead of only security patch there are not any additions included in this build as you can see no features nothing else but new update and also one of the thing to think about is it's just based on Android version 10 as you can see let me show you it's MIUI 12.0.6.0 which comes with the Android version 10 the Redmi Note 9 Pro India variant already got the Android version 11 maybe not officially for all the users but they have the room already available for them and that is official one and you can use that on your device if you're Redmi Note 9 Pro user with unlocked bootloader but this one is the Redmi Note 9 S global where we have Android 10 base latest weird available with the March security patch doesn't come with the latest April security patch yet but the thing is this build which with what I thought about this build after using some time the smoothness is a bit of increase honestly I, I believe in this that the smoothness is increased the control center is coming quite fast here app scrolling speed etc is quite improved here but the thing is it's the update which I installed just maybe 24 hours ago not actually 24 hours ago actually 12 hours ago because it released it was released 12 hours ago that's why I released on, on it and used it on my device and as you can see the camera doesn't include any kind of features everything else is same here you can see here we have the slow motion doc we have uh, the documents panorama time lapse a watermark but the new menu options are not present there because it's not miui 12.5 it's only miui 12 and miui 12.5 is even not released yet official for almost a lot of major devices it's available for some of the devices mi 11 ultra mi 10 ultra if i'm not if i'm not wrong and all of those devices but the devices which we have poco x redmi, redmi note 9 pro redmi note 8 they didn't got that that update yet and the theme center we have these options to customize lock style status bar icons etc the same kind of ui as it's a global one and global and indian variant doesn't include many changes only the google apps are present there but as you can see it doesn't even include the get apps so which means you will not be able to update the apps directly from this updater basically which you get in the system apps updater you need to use google play store to update these apps and this is the thing which you need to keep in mind if you are a user with unlocked bootloader it comes with the latest dark mode options for you dark mode 3.0 light mode dark mode just by simple one click and control center and notification shade there includes all the basic features the control center of course available and yes as i previously mentioned you the control center smoothness is increased if the control center is still not smooth for you you can use the older quick settings it's just up to you but indicators no extra changes there everything seems to be different no everything seems to be same here full screen mode etc etc we have same kind of options present there the smoothness is increased which is one of the main things which i liked about this build also it doesn't include the latest updated features latest updated options for you which actually doesn't look good here notification shade everything kind of same in the home scene in the home launcher we got some changes as you can see it doesn't even include the latest range items in recents option which means you will not be able to use the latest horizontal recents alongside with that app drawer has a specific category customizations present there but the thing is if we move on to the previous option here we have the home screen related things where you can choose between regular and home screen regular and with app drawer it has a very old kind of ui it's now improved it should be changed in the updates but uh, it is still not changed here the thing which you need to keep in mind is this privacy indicators is it kind of same here 
no changes in the battery performance no changes additional settings almost everything seems to be same here these were things i just wanted to let you know link is in the description goodbye have a nice day over the edge feel like i'm floating through the edge